hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful long full layered tool skirt with an elastic band before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it I'll be using this tool for this skirt. It is a hard tool and it is 35 yards. And I'll be using the satin fabric as the lining. I'll also be using an elastic band and I'll be drafting on this pattern paper to explain to you guys. Assuming this is your lining, so we have two ways to cut out the lining. You can cut it on bias, that is if you want a very full effect, or you can cut it like an A-line skirt. So to cut it on bias, I am going to be using this pattern paper to explain. So you will need about four yards of satin fabric if you want to cut it on bias. So I'll fold my pattern paper into two this way, so it's like you're folding your four yards of lining crosswise center fold so this is the opened edge and this is the folded edge so you're going to fold it this way on bias as you can see it is folded into four on bias and i am going to mark my waist circumference which is 36 inches so i'll be adding extra inches to the waist circumference because the skirt is going to have an elastic band that will give the waist its shape so i'll be adding extra one two three four five six that is 42 inches on the waist circumference so so to calculate the radius i am going to divide the waist circumference by 3.14 that is 42 divided by 3.14 that is 13.3 inches so i'm going to measure 13 inches round for my radius another way to get the measurement is to divide the 42 inches by 4 that is 10.5 so you are going to look for where to get 10.5 this way and mark the line or you can decide to mark the 13.3 inches round as you can see this is 30.3 inches so it's the same thing you can mark it round since i'm using a pattern paper i am going to assume that this is the 10.5 inches or the 13.3 inches so i've marked it now i am going to mark the full length of the skirt it depends on how long you want the full length so i'm going to assume this is the full length so you can make it 45 inches or 40 inches so the waist is 42 inches and the full length assuming is 45 inches or 40 inches depends on how long you want it so right on the pattern paper this is 14 inches so this is the full length you are going to divide the full length depends on how many layers of tool you want you can make five layers six layers seven eight or even ten layers of two so you are going to divide the, divide the full length by the layers you want so i'm going to divide this 14 inches by five because i'll be making five layers so 14 divided by five that is 2.8 inches so if you're making your skirt 45 inches length you divide the 45 inches by the number of two you want if you're using 40 inches length you divide the 40 inches by the layer of two you want so i'm going to mark the 2.8 inches so i'm making five layers so this is one two three four five so these are my five layers as so i'll be placing my two on the lines so remember from this point to this point is 2.8 inches and if you are using 45 inches then it will be nine inches so if you are using 40 inches length it will be eight inches so if you don't want a lining on the fifth layer you can decide to cut it here because the ruffle is going to be here the last ruffle so you can decide to cut it out if you don't want a lining i 
remember the fabric was folded into four on bias so this is the front piece and this is the back piece so using this method the skirt is going to come out really full and this will require a lot of tool so if you want your skirt to be really full you can use this method so the second method is going to be the a line so you are just going to fold your fabric into two this way and mark the waistline so i'm just going to mark this as the waist circumference remember you are going to add extra inches for the on the waist because of the elastic band and what i calculated on the waist was 10.5 inches so assuming this is 10.5 inches i'm going to mark the full length of the skirt after doing that on the full length you're going to add extra six inches to the hip circumference so like quarter of my hip circumference is 40 sorry my hip circumference is 44 inches quarter of my hip circumference is 11 inches so i'll be adding extra six inches to the 11 inches and connect it this way to give it the a-line shape they are going to divide the full length by the number of layer you want so i'm marking out five layers here so this is one two three four five you can decide to cut out the fifth layer like i said this is the front piece you will use the front piece as a pattern to cut out the back piece so that is it for the two method to cut out your lining for your two skirts so i'll be using the second method that is the a line i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two and mark the waist line i also added half inch for sewing allowance now i'll mark the full length of the skirt which is 40 inches so i'll be using 40 inches for the full length I'll mark the 40 inches and cut it out for the waist circumference remember I said I was going to add extra inches for ease so I calculated 42 inches I'll divide the 42 inches by 4 that is 10.5 inches and I'll add half inch for side seam that is 11 inches so on the hem I am going to add extra 6 inches to my hip circumference my hip circumference is 44 inches divided by 4 is 11 inches so i'm adding extra 6 inches to the 11 inches that is 17 inches so I'll mark the 17 inches and connect it to the waist measurement so this is the a line skirt now i am going to mark my guidelines for my ruffle remember i am making five layers of ruffle i'm going to remember the full length i used is 40 inches i'll divide the 40 inches by five that is eight inches so i'll mark the eight inches all through the 40 inches this way and i will extend the lines so make sure to mark the guidelines on the right side of the fabric So this is the first layer is going to be here and the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth layer. So I am going to cut out the fifth layer because I don't want a lining on the fifth layer. I'm just going to use about two inches for the lining. So I'll add extra two inches for hemming allowance that is four inches. this is the front piece i'll be using it as a pattern to cut out the back piece i've done that i've cut out the back piece now i am going to place the i'll be joining the front and the back piece so i'll place the right side together this way and i'll join the side seam by the half inch i've done that i've joined the side seam and i've also hemmed 
and I've marked my guidelines on the front and the back piece on the right side of the fabric. To cut out my tool, I've gone ahead to fold it crosswise center fold again and again. The length of the tool is 62 inches. So the total number of tool I am using for this skirt is 35 yards. So I divided the 35 by 5. That is the number of layers I want to make on the skirt. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. So I'm using 7 yards on each layer of the skirt. So this is the first 7 yards. I folded it crosswise center fold again and again as you can see. Now I am going to fold it again and align the edges and pin it down. On the hem of the tool, I will also make sure the edges are aligned. If possible, pin it down. Now I am going to mark this line and cut out the length of the tool. That is 12 inches. So I'll mark 12 inches all through. After marking, I'll cut it out. So I have five pieces of 12 inches length of two on the first layer. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So I'll be joining those five pieces of two together for the first layer on the hem. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So align it and use the longest stitch to sew on half inch all through and gather it. So to know the length of the gathers I will make, I will measure this line. That's the first layer on the hem, times it by two. I'll do the same thing on each guideline. I've done that using the longest stitch on my sewing machine. I sewed on half inch all through and I sewed close to the half inch again. This is to keep the gathers in place. Now I'll pick the thread and gather it. So I'll make sure it is up to what I measured. I left quarter inch on both sides. So I'll place it together and join it by quarter inch. So this is how it is going to come out. After joining, I ironed it, as you can see. As you can see, it is not showing. So that is how I am going to join all the layers. So I am going to place the gathers on the guidelines this way and I will make sure I sew the gathers on the guidelines. For the first layer on the waist, I am going to align align the lining and the gathers this way and I will sew by half inch. So this is how it came out. Now I am going to attach the elastic band. I've gone ahead to cut it out. This is the elastic band and the casing. I cut it out on fold as you can see and I ensure it is my waist circumference. The elastic band is 1.7 inches and the casing in on the casing I added half inch for sewing allowance. So I've joined the elastic band as you can see 
and the width of the elastic band is my waist half of my waist circumference plus five inches i'm going to place it this way and i'll sew on the half inch for sewing allowance make sure you don't sew on the elastic band so this is how it came out now i am going to sew on like three quarter inch so as i'm sewing on the three quarter inch i will make sure i expand the elastic band this way as you can see this is how it came out the next thing i am going to do is to attach the elastic band to the skirt you want to make sure to trim out the skirt that's on the waist before you attach the band as you can see i am expanding the elastic band to fit in the skirt so this is how beautiful it came out you want to make sure to surge around the waist and inside the skirt for it to come out neat we have come to the end of this tutorial guys if this was helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when i upload a new video thank you guys for watching bye